Hello, my name is Benedict. Welcome to my channel. Today we talk about this plant here. This is barley. Barley. Barley is one of the three crops that contribute positively in our lives, in the production of food, in the production of bread. There is barley bread. Another one I will mention here is in breweries. Barley is used in the production of beer. Yes, I mean beer, like the beer alcoholic beer we drink. So today I am inviting a colleague in the laboratory, Miss Claude, to take us through step-by-step -step method of planting and growing barley in the lab. Uh, Miss Claude, she's doing her PhD in my department, she's an expert. She's doing research on barley. Actually, she treats barley with hormones or pathogens. Her aim is to make sure that we generate a better barley that can produce better yield, better food for us. So, subscribe to my channel, like, comment. If you subscribe, we're gonna serve you better. So, she's gonna take you through step by step method of planting and growing it in the laboratory. Stay tuned and watch. We are now going to plant barley. Barley is, uh, here's the hair barley seeds. Those are dry barley seeds. And I, I have soaked them for two hours, but you can soak them longer because of, um, it helps with germination. So yeah, we need the seed, the soft seed. You can even plant them just like that without soaking. Barley is very easy to grow. So we have our um, soil. Our soil that was pasteurized at uh, 70 degrees. And yeah, uh, to start, we put the soil into the put the soil into the pot. I try to make it ever. Uh, I try to make it even to before I put my seeds. Uh, I put the water first. Before I put the water first, I want the soil to start uh, absorbing the water. So I put my autoclave water. The reason why I'm using um, autoclave water is because the cultivars I'm working with are very sensitive. So I don't want any contamination. So after this, you put the seed into the soil. I'm avoiding contamination what I also do is uh, before soaking is I wash my seed with 70% ethanol for five minutes and after I rinse them then I soak them into uh, distilled autoclave water Now I need to fill the pot <clears throat> with soil. I want it even. The reason why I use this pot uh, to plant my barley is because I have a barley have extensive roots, so I want them to grow nicely. That's why I use this. Yeah, 
Now, now that this is done, I'm going to put them in a controlled uh, plant room where it's going to germinate. Usually it takes four to six days to germinate because I'm doing metabolomic. I let them grow for 21 days. Obviously, you can let them grow for one week, two weeks, or even longer, depending on the question that you want to answer. So now we have our barley. Uh, it's 11 days old. It's starting the second day stage. Uh, I'm left with nine days to start the treatment with the hormones that I'm going to be using. As I always say, the population is growing. So this is one of the ways this is one of the ways that we contribute to make sure that there is sufficient of food for mankind. Okay, so Bali is a crop to watch for. It's one of the, in fact, Bali is one of the important strains. Like if you talk about rice, maize, talk about oats, Bali is another crop to watch for.